so these are the list of determining factors which is available in my EB tax responsibility as the standard thing we cannot add any more determining factor sets so all of our business requirements we need to fulfill with these available factors only so what are all these factors I will cover one by one the first factor is accounting we saw yesterday that how we can define our rules on the basis of accounting so accounting we can see my one segment or I can cover a complete code combination so I can define my rules on the basis of segment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yeah, this any one segment of chart of accounts or the complete code combination so any doubts on the accounting rule okay so next thing is geography geography also we discussed yesterday now in geography rules we can define our rules on the basis of what geographies we have entered in TCA responsibility or we can define as per the determining factors like we covered that in my condition yesterday if my ship to country is equal to Canada so in this case the Canada came from my TCA responsibility or I can say that my ship to location is equal to ship from location that is equal to determining factor so I can use the values of my TCA geography values or I can use the same class qualifier also so I can use all these qualifiers in geographies my bill from I can put my bill from geography bill from location my bill to location my point of acceptance and point of origin which are only applicable for the AR things and my ship from and ship to locations so I can only cover these things for my location conditions any doubts on the locations okay so after locations the third determining factor which comes is the registration I can define my rules on the basis of registration statuses of the party uh, if you have seen in your customers and in suppliers even in case of legal entities you have a field called tax registrations Bhavna can you open any of the things or are you aware of this field where we have these tax registrations I am aware about it I am not sure if other participants uh, others can you confirm if you know where this field is <laughs> tax uh, Priya, if you can just uh, elaborate on that, that will be great. Sure. sure. So, Bhavna, can you open either payables or receivables responsibility or both I can show you in both places? Sure. So, what happens is in case of mostly European countries, we have our taxes calculated on the basis of your registrations so for example if a customer or if a supplier is registered in one or two European countries and not the others so me he may have some deductions or he may have some special rates in the countries where he is registered so our registration is one of the determining factors now how we define our registration I'll show you here from where the system my text manager will link with the receivables as well as your payables customers so if you open any customer okay you see this button is text profile so this text profile exists at the customer level as well as the site level so here you have this tax registrations so you need to create a registration first and then link this registration in the tax manager responsibility so what is the mandatory field in creating I'll just click on create so here you have this tax registration status so you are rules works on the basis of this registration so this registration status you can use it in your condition so here you have all this this is a LOV you can add more registration statuses like registered in EU that is not registered in EU you can add these statuses and then these fields will come in LOV in your tax manager so here if I say it's registered I can use this customer or I can use this status in my rule and I can say that if my registration status of my customer is my ship to party 
So if registration status of ship to party is equal to registered, apply a particular tax. Okay. So other you just need to, this regime code is mandatory and other fields are just optional. So other fields we require, for example, this is registered only for a particular location. For example, in US, a customer is registered only in California. So I can say only for the California jurisdiction it is registered. But if, it's, it, if it is registered in entire US, then you can simply enter your US regime here. So it's up to yours. But this field is mandatory status because tax LOV picks from this field. Any doubts in the registration for the customer? Okay, Bhavna, can you go to tables now? I will show you the same field. So this I showed you at the party level, the same. So in tables, if you go to tax and reporting, can you, oh sorry, not in tax and reporting, above tax details you have. Scroll up, mm -hmm. you have tax details, yeah. So here you have this tax registrations. For your suppliers. So you can add a registration here in the same way like we have added for my customers. And also you can add it for your customer site or your supplier site also. Now instead of going to these customers and payables and customers responsibility, we can create these registrations in my EB tax responsibility also. Can you go to tax manager? Okay, so here you have this tab called as parties. Mm, Bhavna, can you give me control? I guess I got disconnected so I lost the control. Okay, so in party I have the party text profiles. These are nothing but the text profiles that we saw in our customer as well as our supplier screen. And we can create these party profiles for my legal entity also that is us, our party. So in the party type we have my legal entity, my legal establishment, my operating unit, tax authority. This I will come to later, what are these tax authorities and my third party and site. So here third party and third party sites represents both your customers as well as suppliers. So if I say here third party and let me search with the same oracle name. So we'll see all your customers also here and your suppliers also. You'll click on go and here you have your update text profile. So you need to click on update text profile and here you have the tax registrations. And same way you can create a registration in the, so same window, it's same place. It's just that you can access this window from EBTEX or from the suppliers or from the customer's responsibilities. Any doubts on this registration? Okay, so the rule for this will be my registration. Uh, let me cancel this. Advanced setup option. Text determining factor set. So this will be registration rule. So I will say test registration, test registration and I will select here registration. Which registration party? So if it is customer, I'll say my ship to party or it depends the same from in a payables, the parties will be different in receivables, it would be different. So as per my requirement, I will select the qualifier and I will say registration status. This status I have added for my parties. So this would be my determining factor set. I will click on apply and I will create my condition set. I'll click on create, test registration, test registration, 
test registration. I'll click on continue and in this I will see the values from the same lookup I saw there, agent registered, not registered. So when you add values in this lookup, it will appear here as well as in your suppliers and customers profile. So here if I will say it is registered. So if I say that registration ship to party status is equal to registered, that means all the customers or all the ship to parties, wherever you have made them as registered, the rule will be applicable to that parties.